these videos are coming thick and fast now. I've uh, brought everything inside, so I'm just... I said I was going to build that unit out of the van, but no, that's just afterly. And for all it is just to build in here, that's what I'm going to do. I've already scribed this panel. This is the one that faces the mo this is the most rear facing panel. As you open the back doors. And you obviously need to scribe the curvature of the van. And in order to do that. Bear with me. This is how organised them are. In order to do that, when you put the full panel against the van, obviously it won't sit, you'll have a big gap. But what you do is you take the biggest measurement, the biggest gap measurement which will probably be near the bottom. Uh, there's a few ways you can do it. You can mark it and have it fixed to like a compass or see like a compass you'd get in school where you get the pencil at the end and then just keep that, you can start from the top whatever with that gap and then you just make the mark all the way down and you'll get yourself a curve. But I don't have a compass and the way I done it was that I got the, I got the measurement and from the top I just made a dot and I progressed it all the way down and it gave me gave me that line. But I'm gonna mark it with a sharpie pen so you'll be able to see it a bit better once I do this. But this is this is pretty much the same way you're getting your you're getting your mark on. It does the same job. You see that? I don't know if you can hear that, but it's hailstones outside. It was sunny when I came out. Opened the back door, tried to take some measurements. The doors were flying about. Super windy. Just gets you angry. You just feel as if it's... It's just because you've went out. Oh, you better get the shitty weather. You better get the shitty weather going. He's trying to, he's trying to fucking sort his van out. Excuse my language. Right, so now that they're marked, I'm not going to cut them just now. I'll leave them for the moment. I just want to quickly get a feel for what's happening with these bits. Right. Here's that panel that I wasn't sure about. I'm still not sure about. I'm going to work it out by seeing how the rest of it lines up. Here. It's all a balancing act, isn't it? This will go in ever so slightly. But there's actually still room with the bed here, that's reassuring. Sits in somewhere like that. Stay put. God damn it. Stay at peace.
a house of cards. Again, this is just to get a feel for it. <laughs> it's gonna look good, man. I'm, 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 I'm made up with that. Yeah, so I think I'm right in saying that oh, about the about that panel. I think it's a shelf because see, even if it's not a shelf, I don't see a use. I don't see any other use for it because all that lines up. This that will be drilled onto that panel. That must be a shelf. It's going to be a shelf. Made my mind up. So now I know how this is all going to kind of go. I'll cut my scribed marks up. Start from the back, not the way forward. Yeah, I can explain it a wee bit easier on this panel. So the other panel will go there, near the back doors. This one comes along, meets up with this one. And you can see I've actually got it pushed against it. Obviously that's as far as it'll go and it's pre-cut state so what you would do is you would take a note of this gap right, whatever measurement you've got and then the way I'm doing it is I'm taking the measurement and bringing it up to the top and then just mark it and I'll just continually mark it oh so hey you just continually mark it and you'll have, you'll have yourself a curve and match your dots up and cut it once you do that it should leave you with something like that. If I had to mark out another little notch, just because of the way the cladding comes down here. So I've got, you can see I've got I've a little dot here. And if you line it up, you can see where the dots line. And if I put it here, the dot matches there. And if I put it here, it matches here. And if I put it here, it matches here. So see how that follows the sort of follows the black then up oh, cuts in. You see that? <coughs> when I cut that it should fit. It's not quite buttoned together but it's pretty much done the wardrobe side. Just get the top to do. I've scribed it and what annoyed me is I had to actually cut a bit out for the wheel arch. Which I found really strange because I'd actually I purposely left a gap so I could get the wood to go in. Thinking that this part here this part, this whole part would, would be the, the width of the wheel arch. It would only make sense if it comes for this van, but it's not. That's a bit shorter, so I've had to cut a bit out. Not the end of the world, but an inconvenience nonetheless. Uh, so yeah, that's it scribed and put in. Quite happy with that, to be honest. The rest should be straightforward. starting to get there. I've uh, put the bits on. I've put the bits on here for the pop top to go. And it's just a case of buttoning it properly together. Yeah, it's not been not too bad. I cut this out from my rocker switch. I basically took the measurements. Oh, took measurements for from here to from here to here where the where the <coughs> where these bits come out for there to there for there to there. I've just done it. Well, I had this back cable in front of me just to see if it's worked. And uh, what, back, what basically happened was I had cut that out, and I was able to stick my rocker switch right through there. So in theory, if I do that exact same hole. 
up here. Cut that out. My rocker switch will go straight through there. And that's just another little job done. And a productive day. Right, so that's it all in. That's it all put together. The only thing I've got left to do is really just to stick my latches on. Obviously paint it and all that other sort of stuff, but put my latches on. And I'm going to call it a day. So thanks for watching. Next one will be of it painted, get my electric sorted. And it's the case I'm moving on with fridges and that. Oh, here, yeah, I forgot to say. I was telling you about the. That's that. Bad bulk head I'd put on. To break it up a bit. I don't know what I'm going to do with what's coming down here, if it's going to be a curtain or a blind, but again, that's all the small details. I'll, I'll get into that when the time comes. But uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.